Welcome back. So starting out the week by picking up where I left off on Friday. So um, this is uh, the door frames now and the job is to get those all prepped for priming and then ultimately um, to put the top coat on them before we start putting stuff back in the fuselage because it would be a little bit difficult to do it uh, later on. So here you can see there's um, the layup uh, now exposed that I did to put those new conduits in there and been sanded back a little bit and I've just sort of got more work to do now to, to uh, fill the little holes and everything like that, same as what I did uh, on the door frames. And uh, there's the other, other layup on the other side there. And meanwhile, Jeff and Devin have taken uh, most of the tar paper off the floor where we were working over the past couple of years and uh, set up a spot now where they can actually anchor the uh, wing fixtures into place so they don't move and at the same time dial them in and just get the angles and everything right because uh, it's super important those wings um, be the same and be matched up nicely to the CAD. And here Devin's got the moulds underway for those two ribs that um, I forgot about or missed out on when we were creating all the others for the left, one for the left and one for the right wing. And Dan's been continuing to get all these different pass-throughs uh, put in place there so he's got his little uh, metal plate there behind there and starting to get um, the various different um, pass-through or bulkhead connectors uh, installed in there. And as you can see there's a little metal plate that he has to sort of keep everything oriented. And Jeff and Devin have moved on to getting the left hand uh, wing fixture assembled and uh, now dialed in and bolted down to the floor so it can't move. So this way we can actually construct both wings at the same time and uh, save a lot of time by uh, not forgetting any of the steps involved. And as you can see now Devon's uh, doing the heavyweight layers on uh, each of these moulds so he's just done the first one there and the second one will come. And I moved on to the left hand side and just clearing out uh, where I did those layups around the pin sleeves and make just making sure the door shuts nicely and the, the gap clearance is just right now for that, um, for that seal so that's going to work out well. And uh, Dan's just going through all the different little things that still need to be buttoned up with respect to you know hooking up different things to the ECU and so here he's uh, got the connectors there for uh, hooking up the fuel flow sensors. And here you can see he's running a few more lines there through that uh, small little grommet there for picking up the fuel level switches in the header tank and there's a couple more to go for the main level uh, for the straight tanks as well. And over here in the wing strakes he's put the connectors on there that are going to go out to um, the lights on the wing tips. And as you can see here in the nose, um, it's got the bulkhead connectors just sort of temporarily fitting those in there. And if you look on this side, you can see those 28 pin connectors. He's got the pass throughs um, sorted out for those. And over in the right hand strake, he's also got the connectors there one for the light on the wingtip, and the other one is for the aileron uh, trim motor because we just have a single trim tab on the right hand aileron. And now that both fixtures have been uh, dialed in, it's time to start uh, getting everything uh, sorted out to be, you know, bonded all together. So here's that other jig. So this is the one for uh, the left-hand wing. And as you can see, they're working on the right-hand wing right now. And just been just, you know, fitting all the different ribs and getting everything sorted into place just with a dry fit before we can actually bond anything together. And these are our elevator um, hinge kind of hangers that I got sent away to an e-machine e shop and they're out of 7075 aluminum and anodized and uh, we're going to be using these bushings so two in each one there and they basically slide back and forth to allow the elevator um, to uh, actuate and you'll see more of that later when we uh, get those things um, bonded into the floor plane. And by the end of today, Devon had both of those molds done, so they can be uh, released tomorrow and trimmed off, and then those last two ribs can be laid up. And back on the doors, so where I had those um, bolts going through the upper skin there, those have been recessed, and I've also uh, roughed them up and uh, put some little notches in them. Now I'm closing them out there with um, a mixture of Phlox and Micro in order to um, be able to, you know, sand over those and paint them and uh, you wouldn't even know that they're there once we're done. And finally I finished the day by uh, fairing out the join there between the inner and outer frames there with the same mixture. So uh, that'll get set up and be able to sand on that in the next day or so and uh, do the same treatment as the other side. 
Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week, and uh, thanks again for watching. Tune in again on Saturday and see what we get up to for the rest of the week.